Hello, welcome to the new part of Press Save the Dice doing the prepare the die stuff. Um, we are just entering Odysseal Township here uh, for the first time. And it's time to start doing some kindling because we just did the um, schism and we just fought uh, Artorias there. And it's time to do this whole completely new area which I've never seen before. So um, I want to just kindle up all my uh, Estes because I've got humanity to spare. Not a lot of souls, so I'm not doing any leveling up as such yet. But I need to kindle that bonfire because I, this is, as a new area, I kind of want to explore, and the, the Estus will kind of cover my mistakes as much as I can. So, plus I think with the uh, the halberd on there, oh maybe I do. I think I do have the um, no, because I got the halberd on. I think I got the dagger on, um, heater shield, and the sail catalyst. So, whoa, that was close. It's a mistake by the enemy there. Just. Um, covered for the fact that I completely missed that there's an enemy hidden around the corner. So I'm going to have to be a bit more careful about enemies hidden around the corner there. You see it says, enemy liar. It makes me think that there's hidden walls. And uh, Although this area is currently blind for me during this playthrough, I skipped a bit there, me going back to the bonfire. I do sort of know that there is um, hidden walls, and I know that the hidden walls are reconcealed with uh, light. So I've got a cast light spell here. And I know this guy's here this time. I also just want to test to see if you can parry these guys, which you can, because I, I think I backstabbed them last time, so you can parry these dudes. They drop the large titanite shards, which kind of goes with what I was saying earlier about how I don't want to be fully upgraded so that when I get drops like that, I can actually use them for something as opposed to just throwing them on the pile, I don't need it. And you see there, just try jumping down to that little thing there. I don't try it there, because I don't really want to die 50,000 times. I've tried it recently, um, dying 50,000 times, and I can't make that jump. I, I don't think you can. If you can make it, feel free to uh, try to reply or make me aware of someone who has made it, because I certainly can't do it. I've managed to jump onto it and die as you jump onto it. So, And uh, the drop rate on these large shards are quite decent, I've got to say. So it might be actually a decent place to farm for them, if you couldn't already buy the damn thing. Make it completely pointless to uh, farm them. The help is actually not bad for these dudes. Two handed, you can actually use one shot on it. So that's good now. See, and that, that was two large shards there. There we are. I'm trying to get through this area without dying. But I am human, and this is quite a common area. So you see a, uh, a caster there, that's the first time I come across one of these things. I don't know what it's going to do, which is like. Very wary of it. It doesn't seem to be too much of a bad shot. So I managed to. Uh, avoid getting hit there, which I kind of wish I did get hit there and shows you just how much damage I do, because those things just pack one out of a bunch. Ah, there we go, I don't have the dagger equipped, I've got the, um, Gathers there. Oop, there's dude there. Kind of, after seeing how little they did, I'm not really that scared of him. Not really much of a problem, just give him a poke. I'm kind of surprised he hit me, actually. I, I sort of, he jumped out at me. Sort of surprised me, but not too much. And then I was looking at him, and then he hit me on a dead angle. So, a bit annoying. I suppose it's better than just running in and dying. So, we're going down this way into the Ulysseal place, because I, I feel like this is a hidden area. I want to explore the hidden areas before I go anywhere else. So, this area kind of felt hidden, that's why I went this way. I don't want to hit my halberd on the side of the wall there, so it's like parry that guy. Also, just kind of getting me out. I never get a bloated head. And that, I thought it was a large shard, but nope, got a bloated head there. Just checking out the stats of it. Got a lot of hoods here. Yeah, bloated head. 17, 17. Nothing really good. And the weight's 2.5. So, oh, I didn't get to check the bleed or curse resist there, but. And certainly in a, a PvP setting, it seems to be purely aesthetic. There's not really any reason to use that. Unless it's got a special hidden property, I, there's no reason to use that. Here we go with the um, more casters. That one didn't actually hit me, so I'm still unaware of just how dangerous those casters could be at that point. So I'm just like, that one was right by the door, I'd run in and poked it and died. Dark Spirit Akananta. Akanata. Akatanai. I made the element. Has invaded, so uh, I've got to start thinking about getting ready for him. But I'm assuming he's going to be invading from the top, so I've got a little while to explore a bit first. And there's two casters in this room, and they are doing a ton of damage to me. 
that. Even though I blocked that one, it went all the way through my guard and nearly killed me. The, the uh, magic defense this guy couldn't do bad. That was pretty intense. Get some heal up, save my Estuses for when I really need it. If I do need it. But probably, I don't use Estuses when I'm getting invaded though. Most of the time. Depends. Depends if I get invaded twice. You get a bloated sorcerer's head there. Interesting. And you lose our catalyst. I'll check that out when I get a chance. I don't know what's mimics and what's not. And it's always quicker to just attack with our mimics. I'm not going to waste the Lloyd's Talisman seeing if they're there. And if you do spot a mimic and go, ah, this one's a mimic, by you know, scoping it out and seeing if it's you know, hiding as a mimic, it, you're going to attack it anyway, so you might as well just attack the damn thing. I think I've spoken about that before. About all cool ways you can spot a mimic without having to attack it, and then you have to attack it anyway. So anyway, we're in our, uh, we're in a dagger out here with crystal magic weapon equipped, because I'm thinking it's been long enough now. He must be nearly close to finding me. Let's go up to a bit over here. And he comes through the door. There's absolutely no way I'm going to use a crystal magic weapon now. This little Viking build here is almost naked. So this guy's just having fun. And I don't know how much damage that does. Some sort of uh, chaos weapon he's got there. Some kick going on. We'll go into this block. And a plus 15 dagger with like no decks is doing massive amounts of damage to this guy. So he's just having fun. A little bit of a connection issue there, which kind of scopes out. Bad for him because it scoped me out that I have a. Uh, there's a hornet ring there, so I don't want to attack in case he parries me, because I don't think I'll survive that. So I gave him a kick, knocked him back, and got a free safe hit on him there. That's so why I did the kick, so if he parried me there, I probably wouldn't live the chaos hornet uh, parry repulse, or whatever you want to call it. So that guy was just having fun. Good for him. A little viking build there. And this is where I get seriously, seriously lost. And I realise that my, uh, my light buff has worn out there. I've got to reapply that at some point. I have to realize. I think I'm thinking maybe this is like Indiana Jones. You could just step out over there, and or maybe the light's gonna light the way. Nope, nope. This is just a, a room to get lost in. I've actually completely. Oh, it was a dark orb. That was what was in that chest. So uh, there's more dark magic there. And since this is a, a an actual character that uses intelligence. I might try that out at some point. I haven't actually used any dark spells yet because um, I've been playing other characters that aren't initiative based. So I might try that out at some point. But either way, I'm, I'm getting lost here because I haven't been in this area before and this gets a bit complicated with doorways and ways going up. Like, have I tried this way or not? I can't honestly remember. And I certainly haven't tried it with the, um, the light equipped. Because that's something else. Uh, see, um, I know that I've done this bit before, but I'm so like, curious to see like if there's actually anything there. I'm like debating whether to run across. And then they say it's not worth it. I haven't died yet. And besides, the more I uh, stall, the, the more I might get invaded. Because this seems to be quite a popular invasion spot. Level 73 are we? And we still seem to be overpowered for the area. Because I, I got hit by those sorcerers like crazy. Now, I'm saying that now as someone who actually knows what this area is about. So yeah, I am sort of overpowered in this area. Because those sorcerers tear you apart if you let them hit you. But whatever, I'm, I seem to be doing alright. Got my light buff on there, so it manages to light the way, let there be light. So I found myself a, uh, a not mimic and a dark pendant. I believe it's, it's a silver pendant, whatever. Never used that. I don't really see the point in it myself. Dark magic I've seen, I can just dodge. Waste of a slot. Maybe. Oh, wow, ninjured. I'll be kicking him off, Mirror's Edge style. Everybody knows exactly the point I'm talking about. We'll play that game. Now, I'm just debating whether I can make that jump or not. I'm pretty good at making jumps, but uh, it can be whether I can or not. So I'm just going to get a run up here. Not <laughs> two-handed like that matters. I wonder if I could just pole vault over, that'd be awesome. Oh, I'd love it if that was like an actual game mechanic of pole vaulting with pole arms. Like, do a flying kick. Anyway, we got up here. Let's check the chest and oh it's a mimic! That's a bit scary. <laughs> so um as you can see that's it. if I'd used wasted a lawyer's talisman, I think it would have been any different. I get a very good carving. 
Now, I really wish that the carvings in this game weren't a drop item, they were a throne. You could like, do a ventriloquist like Kash thing to it. And we got inv invaded by Marvel's Chester here. Um, I have actually seen a video where he invades here before, so I sort of knew he was invading. I actually completely forgot on this part that he's invading there. And it's getting crunch time now. This this stuck <laughs> phantom here with the sweep kick there is actually becoming more dangerous than the guy who just invaded me, the, uh, the proper player. So the NPC there was more dangerous than the um, little Viking phantom we got there. But yeah, it was a, a build there. Well, it's not. Dark, the Chester there actually can be kind of dangerous because he's got. That sweet kick, it can't be parried. It does some good damage. You need to get close up. And he's got, even though he has zero poise, his kit, he seems to have poise. So, I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. But, but anyway, we are moving down to the rest of this level now, finally. After not getting lost 50 times. I was thought about parrying that guy, but running attacks just too new for me. I'm not really sure what the hell's going on with it. So do with that guy. Uh, I can see that the issue here, we've got a caster and a narrow ledge here, so I'm preemptively healing. I'm trying to uh, just gauge the attacks. And when you don't know how fast the things actually laughing at me, you, know? you don't know how fast those things are, it's incredibly hard just to get used to it. So I'm just sort of getting some practice in because I've never seen those dark orbs before at this point. And in the end I just decide to block it because I'm not having a great time at um actually dodging the damn thing, so I'll just block it, let's say. And I get to push him off. Or her off, I guess, as a female. And they drop green Tainai shards, interesting. I just said at the beginning of this LP about not getting shards. I've actually got a lot of shards in the area that I thought you couldn't get shards with the uh, leeches these days. Um, it just goes to show that when you want shards, they just don't drop. I actually went I farm leeches in Blight Town, and I got 21 large shards and zero green shards. Which, you know, that's the odds of that happening are insane. There we are. And I got my little uh, sort of technique going there, just block a hit, circle around, and get him. Some nice rubbish there, in case you didn't pick up the other one. I'm not quite sure what a second rubbish is for, to be honest. Maybe this would be a good baiting item, or like trolling, maybe? Because you can only trade one rubbish with Snuggly to get a chunk, so I don't know why you'd need to. I might look that up later. And here we go, big room. And I, I saw these guys. I was actually playing well for a second there. I'm trying to get a little jump over the uh, you know, plunging attack there. But I failed it. Doesn't matter. These guys are obviously going like, to nail me in the back as I came down the stairs. So, despite pride of myself for spotting that one. And we've got a whole room of guys over here. I, I fought like that many guys before, so I wasn't that. Intimidated, and then that hit me, and then that hit me. I was like, "That's a whole lot of damage right there." Thank God, there's this little. I wonder how many times people have healed in this lock up here. This must be. I do bet if you stand there and just watch ghosts, there, there there'd just be so many heals going on there. I'm in the corner here, doing my thing, getting absolutely butt rushed by everything, and they kill me. So I managed to get this far without dying. It's not, I don't think that's bad on your first attempt. I mean, my character may be a bit high, but whatever. So <laughs> I try and do a running attack there and fail. It would have been awesome. Uh, I didn't manage to get it, unfortunately. No, no harm done so much. I should take care of him without any real problems. Unless my light source really needs to uh, come back on. So I play a bit a little bit more cautiously instead of running in. That caster does rack up the damage. I bait a few out when you want to come around the corner there. Mm. See, even with the caster out of range, those guys did a hell of a lot more damage than the other ones in the level. Yeah, I've got my uh, retrieval ring on now, so I'm doing some slow rolling. Luckily, the angle they can actually get. So I've got to find a way up there to deal with this dude. Because I want that item, because I'm exploring all the items. Looking for a way up there. Go up the chimney, what? Also, uh, there's a, a scene there where I, I, I think I cut it out. Where I used throwing knives to try and get it. Also, I've got my retriever, so I don't need the uh, thing anymore. I don't need my other ring. Oh no, I didn't cut it out. Here we go. 
me try and like unlock throwing knives onto it. Unfortunately, using that camera isn't going to be uh, isn't how you use. Seven. So that's not a bad shot. It, the camera does do the up and down actions, but you actually need to orientate your character. As, like, I guess that's the X axis. I think I give up at that point. Clearly, it's not gonna. If, if it does work, it's gonna take me too long, and I'm just gonna run out of throwing knives. We're playing our way up that way. Sort of wondering whether to go on with the level or not. As I know, I really want to see what that item is. It's probably something good. Get some more dark magic. That really, really hurt. I don't know whether the enemies at the bottom part of the level are a lot stronger than the ones at the top, because that did so much more than when I got hit earlier. And those three guys absolutely that rushed me, just tore my health in pieces, but the four ones earlier didn't. So. I mean, that's just something I'm noticing now back at this, I don't know whether they were getting glancing hits on me or whatever. But uh, we are moving up to the other bit along here, um, which drops down onto that sorcerer which I'm having issues getting up to. Um, I think I need to find my sorcery again. I think this little message helps me remember. Try light. So, thank you whoever left that message there. I think you reminded me that I don't have Sorcery equipped. A little light bulb above my head. My character had an idea. But it didn't really need to much. I'm trying all the chests. <laughs> and I get a red titanite jump, which isn't actually that good. To be honest, I don't think I need that at all. I suppose I could maybe break it down. But uh, either way, I, I fall down here because. I don't know what the floor's about, but there's quite a lot of crap missing from that floor, and I've paid the price. So we are going to make our way back up top. This happens quite a lot, I think, me just backtracking, because... I, I don't know, I mean, I am lost, because I don't know where the hell I am, but then again, it's all just exploration. It's like, I, I'm lost, but I haven't... It's like I'm not stuck. I'm just kind of progressing, but very slowly. That's the room I just fell down into. I'm getting a bit confused now. That's the room I just fell down in. And what was the point in the other way that just also falls down to that room? And then I'm coming back, I see that you can just roll up through here. <laughs> so I've figured that one out. Finally. And I poke this guy to death. And I see there's a chest there. Give him a poke. Yes, it's a mimic. But I was completely not prepared for it to be a mimic. My stamina's gone, I've got no health. So uh, even though I was like, you know, playing it safe and hitting it with the halberd, you do want to make sure that you're ready for it just in case it is a mimic. Because that completely caught me off guard. Which is kind of how mimics these days catch players off guard. They don't actually eat them, but people are like, oh crap, it was a mimic, I didn't want to fight a mimic. And we've got this guy who's been trying to hide. He's got big jangly arms, so he can't hide. I keep on dropping so many shards. I can't believe how many shards I got. Be wary of fall. Which I, I guess means that you don't want to fall down there because that leads back to the uh, earlier part of the level. I'm um, like coming up to this bit. Uh, I don't know where the sorcerer's gone. And also the dark fog's gone. That's interesting. So I want to go back to that place that said there was a fall. Um, so you hit me with dark fog there. I almost got poisoned. Because, uh, oh no, no, we got a different bit here. I'm more exploring this area around here. So you see the roof, and I see it goes up around here. I just want to see if it goes up that way. So it does. So I want to investigate, see if there's anything over there. But I know that if I drop down there, I can't explore back over here where it said be wary of fool, which is that bit there. And to me, it looks like you can just walk back up, but now I see it sort of it goes back down. So this leads back to the area I was just I just was. I was like, oh, hang on a sec, I've come up here. How did I not have to go all the way around? But because of the way the uh, stairs are, it's sort of like you can't get back up there. So it's not like there's a shortcut. There's only a shortcut back down. And we got the uh, the fog catalyst there, which is sort of interesting. And at this point, I realize I've got my ring of sacrifice on, so I've been slowly ambling around, a bit like. 
elephant speeds. See, there's the stairs that go up. You can't actually get back to the bit you just drop down from. Do you be why there's that message there saying, be wary of fool. Don't be a fool. And I'm just looking at it. I'm like, hang on a sec. Where was... How did I drop down? I've already done this bit. And then I see it. Ah. I have to do the level again. So there's so much backtracking. And so much. It's my first time through the area. And I kind of... What do you expect? I'm getting lost again, look at that. You actually need to jump down the other way. Yes, that's right, you can't jump down there. So much getting lost. There we go, and I figured it out again. It's like, oh yeah, this bit. Just jump through here. So I'm going back to the roof part just to see if my instinct, instincts were correct and that they would actually hide something. Because when you play a, a game like this and sort of get inside the developer's head and thinking, right, if I was a developer, where to hide something? So we've got the uh, roof coming up over here, and it goes down there. And I get myself some twin humanities for it. I was so chuffed at that. I was like, yes! I sort of saw where they might hide an item. And this finally drops down to the area which leads on with the rest of the level. So finally, I managed to get on with the rest of the damn level. And also, I love this area. Because the building's kind of fallen over. You're walking on the side of it been done before in other games, but I still think it's cool. And uh, we've got a shortcut here. Once we go up, I just want to see where the shortcut pops out. I think I already know, because I've sort of seen it. Just confirming. Yep, it's this area. Go back down. Now I've opened the shortcut up. I don't have to do any of that area ever again. Until New Game Plus, I guess. And this bit is incredibly hard on New Game Plus, but as it happens on this playthrough, coming through here first. I don't know how, but I managed to actually just ace it. I kill those two in heavy attack, which is like a really crappy attack with the halberd. Doof, doof. Double hit, and that nearly killed me. But, I managed to get through it. I'm supposed to wait for one of them to laugh before you go up here. But as it happens, one is sort of strayed back, so it's hit, hit the floor. Look how much damage that did. I guess that was dark feed, so it was closer, so more of the projectiles hit me. And we've got a new enemy coming up. Like an awesome, like, room for it as well. So I'm thinking this is probably a mini boss. Just as the Ligard dead. I can't even read that. Uh, invades. We've got, um. So I've got to kill this new enemy, whatever it is, pretty damn quick. And also, I've opened up the shortcut, so he'll be coming down pretty soon. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, and uh, this guy has a lot of um, deflection on him. I notice, so I'm having to two hand to get through his deflection um, because one handing it, you just kind of fall backwards and get hit. I'm doing alright. He seems to have a lot of defense, but not much magic defense, so I'm going to jump out with doing well. And he drops some chain stuff. And there he is in the distance, he's coming. He's coming for my blood. I've got to get ready. I see him coming a long way off this time to get to have my magic crystal weapon. And this guy looks a lot more serious than uh, the Viking cosplay build we had. He seems to be dual wielding, but even so, he might have some serious kit and weapon there. He's got the gold tracer and the chaos blade, so this guy's pretty much tweaked out here. And again, I'm over level, that's what I expect. A uh, slash at the air there, forgetting that the. Uh, after you do a kick, you're going to want to do the heavy attack. There, I do a little um, parry, which sort of reminds him to parry. Too bad for me, because he actually lands it there. So, completely, almost one shot to me with that parry. Um, Chaos Blade's pretty beastly, I guess. So, there's the death there, but it's sending me all the way back to the front. So, he's got a lot of serious weaponry there that managed to kill me in one shot. I'm going to have to upgrade the health on this character at some point, uh, so I can help get around stuff like that. So uh, we're going straight back to the point where I just died. I killed that dude and basically got through the area without many problems. Got five Estus flasks down, so I guess I didn't want to bother with uh, using the Valka's Talisman to wait for, uh, wait for myself to heal. Let's get to this bit, and it says, be wary of lying in ambush. So I am sort of like ready for something happening. And the dude pops up on the left, and I'm like, aha! I've got to say that the uh, anybody dropping the orange signs during this playthrough, 
they were a much better like oh man that guy's head got absolutely crushed they were a much better um sort of help than they usually are on this because that's the second time now but that's really helped me out actually it might even be the third time i'm just checking out these cells see if anything's gonna like a hand's gonna come out and grab me that's quite a cliche that happens so sort of like a bit wary of those um cell doors there but we made it to the new bonfire um, which is cool. I'm thinking about um, just kindling this stuff. I've decided to press on. I've still got 15 S's fast, so it's not really worth kindling right now. We're heading to the darkness, and I'm thinking at this point that maybe this would be a, a really dark area, like Tomb of Giants. Um, but you can't tell because I've got my uh, my light on, so you can't really tell. But it's not. There's some twinkling tight night there. I don't think I actually need it. We've got a very dark area over there. So I'm sort of curious what's over here. I can see like glowing eyes in the darkness. It looks well spooky. But I decided to head in there anyway. The little demo, this is probably one of the most dangerous parts in the game, I think, these days. I managed to block some dark magic there. And I'm rolling my ass off. Ooh. And he got me. I was damn close. I was damn close. I almost managed to kill that last guy. I would have healed and got up and got him again, so... That's kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Got a new bit coming up here, managed to get my retrieval. It's got a nice lot of humanity on there, don't want to lose that. And my souls are kind of going up a lot as well, so I'm kind of being a bit more cautious on this area. A bit more sort of like wary of that dude. I want to block his shots and not actually take them. Skip these dudes and try and go for the, the mage first. <laughs> I'll deal with these guys now. Look at that. I'm just lining them up like a big kebab. This halberd was such a good investment, BB. We've got some dark bead there, which is nice. Um, I will use that maybe at some point. I don't know. Maybe for a PvE, because it's quite strong. I come down here. I see the orange sign. wonder what it says. Be wary of back. What the hell? Boom. That guy would have completely owned me. I've never been so helped by that. So he's getting himself a rating up, because that was just so awesome on the guy's part who left that there. So it's sort of like, as blind as this game is... I, I mean, that is playing the game properly because I'm actually checking these things. It's hard to say. I think that's a, a typical Dark Souls thing, though. It's like so Dark Souls, unique to Dark Souls, I should say. So it is blind, but it's still. I've got some help, you know. Not a guide. It's just part of the game. I see these humanity things down here. I'm I'm wondering sort of how I'm going to approach these things. I don't know how much they do. I sort of know what they do, and I know I don't want to try and block them because they do damage on contact. So I'm sort of avoiding the little ones, kind of hoping that I will be able to kill them in one shot. And I'm just like, given a poke, I've got seven humanity, and I don't have any of the uh, extra rings on there. And notice he drops some humanity, so that's cool. I don't have a uh, covetous gold serpent ring or anything. So I'm just, this little thing's just trolling me right now by staying still until missing it. So even the big ones go down in one sh two shots, and I see they drop even more humanity. I think at this point I was like, oh. These things drop a lot of humanity, so I'll be going to the uh, gold covered serpent ring. I'll be getting some more humanity now, and this is pretty much... Um, I don't farm here, but I get enough humanity pretty much to see me through the rest of the game forever. I, I, I won't be needing to get any more humanity after this. So I now am aware that the uh, this is the place to get humanity if I ever need to get any more. And they are a bit suicidal. Gold covered a serpent ring. Working out for me. Uh, he didn't drop anything. But we do come over here and we have ourselves a little problem with some caster over here. I see him. He managed to hit me for a half. That's a she, I should say. It laughs at me, which taunts the crap out of me. Weird annoying. Oh god, I can't hit it. And he manages to shoot me directly in the face. So I'm, I'm making inroads into the dark chasm so far. I've noticed we've got loads of humanity and stuff, but uh, I'm going to leave this part here because it's nearly 30 minutes long. It seems a good time to stop because I just died. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next part.